Hello YouTube, I am bringing you the news today. Christmas is only six days away. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Two Guys News. This is a show where I go over news topics of the day in about three to five minutes. This is a new format that I am trying out, so comments below are appreciated. Moving into the news, on Tuesday night in a parking lot next to SpaceX, Musk's Boring Company unveiled the prototype of the first tunnel, a 1.14 mile route that runs 20 to 40 feet beneath the streets of Hawthorne through a neighborhood sandwiched between the 105 freeway and the Hawthorne Municipal Airport. Months ago, Musk had promised a modified but fully autonomous vehicle at the unveiling but it seems they have come up a little short. Reporters drove in a Tesla Model X that reached speeds about 53 miles per hour. The vehicle was mainly driven by an employee who previously drove in the Indianapolis 500. The reporters also stated that the ride was a little bumpy. Elon said they ran out of time, attributing the rough ride problems to the paving machine. Elon stated, the bumpiness will not be there down the road. It will be as smooth as glass. This is just a prototype, that's why it's just a little rough around the edges. Building the 1.14 mile funnel took about 18 months and cost about $10 million. If the work goes well, Elon said the company could have the whole system running by 2028 when, the Los, when Los Angeles hosts the Olympic Games. 10 years sounds like an infinity, Elon said, and I damn well hope we'd have that thing done. <clears throat> Facebook is in the news again. It seems we cannot go a full week without getting zucked. The New York Times reports Facebook allowed top tech companies to access user data such as friends lists, contact information, and private messages. The access allegedly allowed Netflix and Spotify the ability to read Facebook subscribers' personal messages, gave Microsoft Bing search engine the ability to see names of all Facebook users, permitted Amazon to obtain contact information, and let Yahoo view streams of friends' posts. Steve Satterfield, Facebook's director of privacy and public policy, told the New York Times that none of the partnerships violated users' privacy or its agreement with the Federal Trade Commission. But he admitted, we know we got a lot of work to do to regain people's trust. Protecting people's information requires stronger teams, better technology, and clearer policies. That's what we've been focusing on the most in 2018. In sports news, John Cena speaks about Rob Gronkowski transitioning into the WWE after he hangs up his cleats. John Cena told ESPN in a recent interview, I think he'd be a great WWE superstar. I really do. I think he's got unbelievable energy and infectious electricity about him. Rumors about Gronkowski joining the WWE has been circulating as of late. He appeared on the WrestleMania a few years back and some sports analysts are thinking that he might make the jump soon. Cena acknowledged that there's already plenty about Gronkowski that screams pro wrestler, adding, I think if he wants to take off the pads and step in the arena, I think he'd feel right at home. And last in the news is a piece on OUTRAGE CULTURE! Forever 21 put a white model in a Wakanda sweater, and surprise, surprise, people on Twitter are pissed off. The company faced backlash almost immediately on Tuesday after a photo of a white model wearing a Black Panther sweater surfaced on the company's website. The famous phrase, Wakanda forever, can be seen on the front. And that, my friends, is it for today's news. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw and want to see more, please hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. But as always, we love you and good night. This has been a Two Guys production.